Hi guys. So I just wanted to start by saying thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed from my last two tutorials. It's been a while since I've done one, but it's amazing to see how much my last two have helped and hear how they have given you hope in your singing journeys. So this is gonna be probably a series now at this point. I'm gonna try to keep making these for you guys, covering the most common things I've been going over with my private students and questions that you guys have been asking. A lot of you have been asking how I get so much power in my low and high range. few of you have mentioned that you have some of the notes, but not the power. Well, power really comes from learning how to properly support the voice, and that is what this tutorial is going to be about. So if you find yourself getting fatigued, it's important to check with a singing teacher if you're supporting or pushing. Our goal is to take the work off the fragile muscles on the throat and putting it on the muscles that can take it in the abdominals and the diaphragm. So how are you going to get more power? Not by yelling, not by pushing, but by properly supporting the voice. Maybe we should even take a step back and learn how to breathe properly. So there's lots of different ways to breathe. An athletic breath, if you're running, you're going to be taking in like higher shallow breaths. If you're singing, you really want to take a low mid-range breath and fill up from your diaphragm. A uh, good way to check if you're breathing properly or to see how to breathe properly is to lay flat on your back. If you lay flat on your back, you actually can only breathe correctly, kind of like a baby in a crib. And then you'll feel an engagement in this section. So it's all in this uh, abdominal and lower diaphragm. So stand up and pretend you're sucking in air through the floor around your waist. And then once you have a nice low breath, the goal then from there is to let the air collapse slowly. So you're putting a resistance from letting the air falling out too quickly. We're going to do this by not pushing our stomach out, not by sucking in, by uh, simply resisting the body's collapse of air. Some good exercises to do this would be a light cough, a gentle cough, or a laugh, and then feel your abdominals when you do these. So when you do that, you're not pushing from your throat. It's like a low collapse of the air. And then also a good posture for singing would be imagine that your chest is being pulled lightly by a string up. Another good exercise for breath support would be practicing a hiss for anywhere from 35 to 45 seconds. This is for the use of breath management. So you don't wanna just have all your breath come out quickly when you're singing. You want to be able to conserve as much as you can to get through as many phrases as you can without breathing. So practice hissing for 35 to 45 seconds. That's a good amount of time to aim. Another good exercise is to get dog pant. <laughs> and it's the same goal with that, is that we want it to be a low diaphragm engaging breath. And then you can even practice that on a scale. That's another great exercise is to practice dog pant on a scale and then even get a nice tuner. I really like this app that's called Tuner T1 and check and make sure you're in tune while you're doing it. Huh, 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 huh. And just so you can hear the difference, so I'm, I'm supporting that from my diaphragm. It sounds different than if I was to sing from the throat. Uh, 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 uh. So it's, you hear the difference, how it's going to sound a lot thinner if you're singing from your throat 
if you're singing from your diaphragm, you're going to get a lot more power in your notes. Another great exercise for breath support would be doing long tones and just really all around improving your singing would be working on long tones. And it's these exercises that seem ultra simple or almost monotonous that really honestly are the exercises that are going to transform your voice the most for the better long term. So yeah, get back to that tune wrap I told you about and uh, pick a note that's easy in your range. There's a middle C and then just try to hold that note, not very loud volume, just like average volume and just hold that as long as you can. Make sure you're in tune. Look at the tuner. Ha! Do these long tones all over your voice, low notes, high notes, in between notes, and I guarantee you this will be a make or break for your voice. So I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on breath support. There is a handful of exercises for you guys. Give those a shot, and if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm going to be making more of these singing tutorials for you guys more often, so let me know what other topics you'd like me to discuss in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. Please share if you guys found this helpful and if you have friends that could use this advice as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much. See you next time.